All right, here we go. UFC 287 Bantamweight fight. Raul Rosas Jr., 7-0, taking on 8-1. Christian Rodriguez. And just keep an eye uh, on these takedowns as we go through. I mean, the takedowns are going to be everything. And we'll see how quickly Raul Rosas Jr. can get one. And he goes right in, and he's looking to get the takedown already. And Rodriguez does a good job of digging the underhooks. And they're split, so Raul Rosas Jr.'s got Rodriguez pinned up against the fence. He's looking for a takedown, and he gets it. And Rodriguez right back to his feet. And this is what you're seeing from some of these new fighters like him and Hamza. In certain fights, they'll just come right in for the takedown. They're not even trying to hide it. I mean, they're just on the move, going to get into your body and cause problems. Rosas trying to do everything he can to get a takedown, but he can't get it. And now Rodriguez finally twists him, and now he's building some control time. Now Rosas flips it. He's in the green shorts. Rodriguez in blue. And now he's going to take the leg of Rodriguez. But Rodriguez staying calm. Was taken down, then got right back up. Oh, and there's a takedown. Okay. Okay, Rosas, let's go, baby. And he's got side control. Let's go, Rosas. Ooh, he's already underneath. Oh. Now it's Rodriguez on top. Rodriguez said he'd be very comfortable on the ground. Boy, now Rodriguez is taking the back. And Rosas stands up. Good job by Rosas to get out of that. It goes right back in for another takedown. And one thing I noticed already is that Rodriguez is pretty strong. Even when they go to the ground. He's stronger then Rosas in certain positions. You know, Rosas will fill out as time goes on. He's still a little lanky. And as I say that, he looks to take the back of Rodriguez. Mouthpiece comes flying out. But Keith Peterson won't stop this because they're in action here. And Rosas gets another takedown. And Rodriguez looks to stand right back up, and he does. I hope other fighters are taking notice. I mean, you get in there with Rosas Jr. And it's just straight up. He's on you the entire time. And now he hops to the back of Christian Rodriguez. And now he's looking to get underneath. He's got the triangle around the body. And he's fighting those hands. Both guys fighting the hands. Oh. And Rosas trying. Oh, Rosas locks it in. But Christian Rodriguez got one arm in there. I mean, just stuck in there, basically. And boy, this is a tough spot for Christian Rodriguez. And Rosas trying to tighten it, but he can't. And Rodriguez gets some breathing room for a second. But Rosas Jr. high in the air, got the back of Rodriguez, got the triangle locked in. Now he's going to tighten the, the grip once again. And Rodriguez continues to fight the hands. Boy, and Rodriguez in a little bit of trouble here. He's starting to fade a little bit in terms of strength. And Rodriguez continues here. Good job. Continuing to fight the hands of Rosas Jr. So that's going to keep a minute here. Over three minutes of control time for Raul Rosas Jr. And this fight has started much like his other fights. Just complete domination and control from the very beginning.
Okay, and Rosas loses the triangle, but he gets it back. Final 10 seconds. It doesn't look like Rosas is going to get the finish here, but he certainly won this round and dominated in the control uh, position or in control time. And that's the bell. So they'll get a reset, which will be good for Christian Rodriguez, but Raul Rosas Jr. Uh, is just relentless. And both guys will go back to their corner and relax for a minute. Both will sit down. Rodriguez got his head down a little bit. I mean, he just knows he's on the defensive at all times. I mean, he can't do anything offensive because Rosas Jr. is just up on him. See, he got his head on his hip, picking him up for a takedown, jumping on the back, getting the, the triangle locked in. And Rodriguez is just doing everything he can to get through second by second. I mean, it's as simple as that. And the crowd cheer, cheering for Raul now. Miami crowd with the orange bleachers. You can see them things from a mile away. Both guys pacing back and forth. They're ready for round two. And here we go. Rosas Jr. doesn't come in quite as quick in this round. Oh, and there he goes. Shoots right for another one. Gets the head on the hip. And he's going after the left leg. But now Rodriguez finds himself on top. Oh, man. Christian Rodriguez got top position. Now he's taking the back of Rosas. Boy, look at this from Rosas. Comes up swinging. Boy, it's crazy. You're seeing an 18 year old against a 26 year old in terms of strength and where you're at in life. I mean, a 26 year old is just at a much higher level. Like, in other words, when Rosas Jr. is 26, when he is 26, he would just dominate Rodriguez. But he's doing it <clears throat> as an 18 year old. And if I'm the UFC, I don't rush this guy. They need to keep giving him fights like this that he can win. Don't rush him to the top. Let him get to about 20, 21 before you do that. As Rosas takes down Rodriguez, Rodriguez gets back up. It looks to me like he's holding on to the fence, but Keith Peterson can't see it. And it's just got to be frustrating for any opponent of Rosas Jr. I mean, you, you can't even get any space to throw strikes. He's constantly on you. You land a takedown on him, he reverses position. And this time it's Rodriguez reversing position. And he's on top and side control. Okay. Big opportunity for him. <laughs> now this is the best position for Rodriguez in the whole fight. He's on top and side control. Now he lands an elbow, looking for another one. And there it is. Oh, boy. And Rosas rolling around. He gets up the back. Now he rolls to his back. That was smart. And Rodriguez is having none of it. So Rosas Jr. not able to get out of this. And he takes a shot to the body. And if you're Rodriguez, you just want to hold this position as long as you can. All right, we'll get out of this. Oh, he's giving up the back. Oh. 
There you go. Come on, Rosas. Come on, Raul. Uh, Rodriguez got the leg triangle locked in now. So this is the first time you're seeing some major adversity for Raul Rosas Jr. to get through. And at this point, you're just trying to get through the round. 50 seconds left in the round. Oh, oh, he gets underneath. And Rodriguez lets it go. Come on, Raul. You just got to get through it. Don't let that right arm go. And he did. Oh, no. Yep. And Christian not even trying to get the submission. I mean, he's just content with holding him, pounding away. And forced Raul Rosas into a rough situation. So he's going to lose his first round in the UFC. I mean, that's clear. So it's one-to-one -one going into round three. Anything can happen. And can he overcome? Boom. You see there in the replay, Rosas Jr. taking a knee. Up high. And Rodriguez, you know, looking back in the round here, he just changed positions very nicely. I mean, he's on the bottom, he flips, he rolls, he gets on top, gets the side control, eventually takes the back, gets the 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 triangle locked in, and stayed in that position, pounding away for about two minutes. I'm getting a good clear view here, Raul, Raul Rosas Jr.'s corner. Little concerned look on everyone's face right now. But he's got to get through it. I mean, he's got to overcome, and he's got to get through round three. And this is not Hamza Chamaya versus Gilbert Burns, but Hamza was in a very similar situation against Burns, where he won the first round, was completely gassed in the second and found a way to win that fight. And this is what Rosas Jr. has got to do if he wants to win this fight because that's exactly how it's going here as round three begins. And Rosas lands a left. Ooh, and a spinning elbow by Rosas. And I'll tell you what, you got to be wondering what's going through his mind because he came out clearly, wanted to go for takedowns. Now here around three, seems like he wants to stand up and strike. And Rodriguez lands a left and a right. Oh boy. Yep, and Rosas comes in. Rodriguez shoves him off. Now Rosas looking to lift a leg, and he gets out of it. Both guys shove off. So more striking than control time so far here in round three. And neither guy really has the advantage yet. Rosas shoots in for another takedown. Rodriguez stuffs it. So Rodriguez doing what he's supposed to do. He's, he stopped 80% of takedowns. 12 of 15, so he's given up three, but he stopped 12. Oh my gosh. Now Rodriguez is going to take the back again. And Rosas, uh, Rosas gets slung down. 3.15 to go. And this is a tough spot for Rosas. He's going to give up the back again. And Rosas rolls right into a full mount advantage for Rodriguez. Now Rosas spins up. Onto his stomach. Now he's in a tough spot. And boy, Rodriguez now dominating in this position. And Rosas in a world of trouble. This fight is completely flipped from the beginning.
Boy, Rosas got to do something if he's going to win this fight because right now it's not looking good. Two straight rounds of being controlled. Your opponent has your back. Wow. Great fight by Christian Rodriguez. A lot of control time. It was all Rosas Jr. around one. Now it's all Christian Rodriguez, 55 to 5 in total strikes for Rodriguez. And that's the problem for Rosas Jr. If the ground game isn't working, you can't get a submission. It's going to be tough to win the fight with five total strikes. I mean, it's just, that's the way the judges work. Hmm. And Rosas can't do anything with it. Doesn't seem like he's in danger of being submitted. But you never know. Oh. Oh. Rodriguez trying to finish it, but he can't. 120 left. And Rosas Jr. is just going to have no chance to win this fight if he can't stand up and try to find a way to finish. Now Rodriguez continues to pound away and Rosas Jr. looks concerned as he looks up at the clock and sees a minute left and he knows he needs to get up and Rodriguez isn't letting it happen. And it's going to be a tough loss for Rosas Jr. But he'll grow from this. Remember, he's only 18 years old. I think people expected the world from him. I know I did. But he's going to fall in this fight. I mean, it's clear. And this will only build him going forward. And really, it's probably best for his career because the UFC won't rush him. But Rodriguez gets, both guys get to their feet now. 15 seconds left. Oh, Rodriguez lands a left and a right combo. Raul lands a big left. And another, but it's not going to be enough. And the fight comes to an end. And I think Raul knows he lost this fight. Rodriguez, 52-7 to seven in significant strikes. 7 minutes and 30 seconds of control time on one takedown. He reversed a few positions. And Rosas Jr., 450 of control, but 3 for 16 on takedowns. So forget the takedown defense for Rodriguez. That was the difference in the fight. He came in with like a 50% takedown defense mark and was well over 80% in this fight against a guy that can take you down. So, and man, there was even a point in round one where it looked like Rosas might get the finish. All of a sudden, he takes a knee on the way into a takedown uh, attempt in round two, and it just flipped everything. Next thing you know, Rodriguez is flipping positions. He's taking the back. He's got Rosas Jr. in a triangle, body triangle, and it just can't do anything with it. I mean, this one's real simple. It's gonna, it should be a unanimous decision for Christian Rodriguez. Bruce Buffer in the octagon is going to read off the scorecards. A little bit of a mystique will be shattered here. Well, not shattered, but shaken for Rosas Jr., but he'll be back. He will be back. Here we go. It's going to be unanimous. 29-28, yep. So Rosas Jr., one round one. Rodriguez took over the fight. And he's going to move to 9 and 1 in a big bantamweight division fight and win over Raul Rosas Jr. at UFC 287.